character, if I remember correctly. But right now, we are getting Dark Falcon and Jonathan G. So definitely very interested to see how this is going to go. Um, You know, I think that's Mythra. Mythra is very fast. So definitely seeing if Jonathan G is going to try and close the space a lot more since they have the ability to do that and kind of just keep Dark Falcon in disadvantage with it kind of looks like they're doing right now, doing a really good job of it. Um, kind of just using their fast aerials to kind of just show off a little bit. Yeah, and I'm actually surprised in the situation that Jonathan G switched to Pyra, right? Because they actually had Dark Falcon on stage with Mithra, and I feel like they could have extended that advantage even more, but then opted to change the Pyra and go for a ledge trap. That's a little odd, um, but... But here we are. But I think I, I feel like I kind of like that too. That was also a little bit of like they 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 kind of showing that they're trying to like kind of um, differentiate themselves from other you know Mytha players because you know some characters some people just choose to stay on you know Mytha or just stay on Pyra. Um, but just trying to give us a, b a best of both worlds, honestly. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, I don't, I you know, I, I never really understood why you would do that to yourself, like. Why I only play one half of a character first purposefully? Um, so I don't know, um, but I, I do I do feel like uh, that in this matchup something like I feel like Metroid could be really really good against um, the Belmonts, especially when it comes to Gender. Yeah. And and think, oh, sorry, and I think that we the thing about um, you know this character is that um when they actually switch to pyra it kind of actually makes it a very even playing field because both these characters are very slow the only difference is that um you know my uh, pyra actually you know relies on actually trying to you know like hit them and kind of put them in a disadvantageous position and like, actually capitalizing really hard for that but you know yeah um but that was a very nice kill coming in from Dark Falcon, um, just using the Holy Water to kind of um, stall um, Jonathan G's recovery. I mean, not stall, just kind of make use of it. But already seeing how um, you know Jonathan G just took that stop, just amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Don yeah, Jonathan G is definitely on terror right now. Um, I feel like he's kind of understanding Dark Falcon's going for it. Dark Falcon is still doing, no, they're still doing their, uh, their route, but it's just hard to, like, you know, to space out myth or constantly. Like, she's such a fast character, we're punching really, really, really well, right? Even, like, even, um, not on parry, uh, like, like, even, like, even if Jonathan isn't parrying Richter's stuff, Mithra is still getting in easy, <laughs> just because of purely the speed. And I definitely really like how um, Jonathan G is definitely on top of their um, confirms with, I think, again, down throw to up smash. Um, just making, like, sure, um, making, like, really good example of their um, execution. Really nice coming in from them. He's going for that up smash and good coverage coming out from Dark Falcon. Knowing knowing that uh Jonathan G wasn't gonna get out in that situation and rolled in and got the bounce. Very nice attempt to kind of like ledge trap <gasps> here. Oh no. Oh no. So you um can actually um you know, switch when you do use my um, Pyra or my Pyra's neutral. Be correct, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's, does that? Matter? Oh, doesn't. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, we got a an up tilt. An up tilt is like pretty. It's a pretty big move. Um, pretty much like a souped up cloud up tilt. Um. Yeah, and um, you know, close game. Dark Falcon actually brought that back pretty hard, um, and that was that was actually good, like SDI coming out from um, both of them. Actually, I definitely feel like 
um, they definitely almost actually got it something starting started there if they would have um, just let that um, holy water bounce off the shield and jump right behind them that actually could have left into an up smash which would have been very interesting to see but alas they um, went for the up so which just killed just as fine mm -hmm. but yeah definitely going into this next game um, definitely interesting to see you know how Dark Falcon actually approaches um, all of the information that he actually just learned about this game, seeing what he can do, and going to Lila, which is very interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is actually like probably out of all the Belmont stage, the Belmont stage they like the stage the most. Um, so it's probably it's probably, it's probably it's probably the angles and the amount of platforms that Belmont has to shark under. So. Um, yeah, but Belmont well, love the stage. But very interesting. I'm definitely I feel like they're definitely gonna try and take advantage of this. Especially with all the platforms and whatnot. Definitely a very different layout from all of the other stages with the platforms. Um mm -hmm. just trying to kind of I guess use it to a point where um the slants and whatnot actually kind of affects, you know, all of his aerials. Yeah, and um, yeah, wow, and that was actually that sequence, that sequence by Jonathan G, the parry into side into follow up order, and again, yeah, like, you know, talk about a parry punish, um, <laughs> took that parry punch to the bank, and um, now we have Jonathan G and pretty much a comfortable lead. Definitely really showing off their execution right there. Like, we've definitely seen their combo routes have definitely been really insane. Very nice um, Porter coming in there. But yeah, they're at 165. Uh, As I say it, they're definitely gonna die, but they got a really good amount of um, extra credit coming in there. Yeah, and, and, and I know a lot. Forget what I was about to say. I was just about to compliment Dark Falcon, and you know what? Does not matter. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right now, Jonathan G is definitely... Yeah, yeah, Jonathan G is definitely locked in right now. And, um... Well, that's true. Uh, I guess so. Not Very, good. like... <laughs> wow, just their execution has been really crazy. You know, definitely getting hit by a little bit, a uh, little bit of straight things in neutral and whatnot. But like, definitely have been showing off their um, execution. It's been really good to see, even on Wi-Fi for that matter. You know. Yeah. And man, oh my God, do you see Dark Falcon throwing out of holy water? Wait, desperately waiting for a jump out of the corner, and um, Jonathan not giving them one, but still taking that stuff with four tilt that ledge. Um, even game, but Dark Falcon needs to watch out because you know what? Uh, Pyro has been kind of mixing him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, like just definitely showing like um, you know their kind of prowess and whatnot. Just like kind of like even just kind of showing you know their kind of knowledge on um, how they kind of approach people and their like disadvantageous habits and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, by the way, that. Um, Jonathan G just tried to SDI that up, and Dark Falcon did follow SDI up. Um, and that was a crazy side switch, right? And that was, and the reason that was working is because Jonathan G SDI that up. He knew he was gonna SDI up and just ran through him and forward and um, forward tilted. Absolutely, that was definitely looking like a very done deal for Jonathan G, but they just you know got hit by that and accidentally air dodged. But very nice coming in from Dark Falcon, kind of getting that cheese a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, and like you know, the pick definitely worked out. I think that's worked out. Like you know, like I said before, being the best Belmont stage. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I wonder, you know, I wonder what the counter pick is going to be. Like, you know, in, in my head, I'm guessing Town and City. Um, oh. Def could see that. Maybe even Battlefield, hopefully. Three, definitely don't think that would have been a bad stage, oh, but definitely, yeah, I'm going to go back to... Um, oh, both PS2. bad. We're both bad. They just picked PS2. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? 
but okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Definitely getting in this really good advantage coming in from Jonathan G as they've been definitely showing time and time again. Definitely love that coming in, very making it a lot harder for um you know Dark Falcon to even you know just get a little bit of a breath in. And wow, that was very interesting how um you know Mithra actually kind of hit that um, holy water out of the way, which actually kind of just stopped them from like you know getting hit by it. That's pretty funny actually. Yeah, it probably just got the path of the sword swing. Pretty funny. Very definitely interesting because oh, that might be the death for them. Wow. No? Okay, made it back to A4 though. Definitely no, sometimes it's very hard for um you know this character to make it back to get hit, but yep, definitely gonna be the end of that stock for sure. And one thing that one thing I am liking, I'm liking how um, Jonathan G is utilizing his platform, um, you know, getting follow up from him. But uh, yeah, you know, Dark Falcon tying it up pretty much uh, pretty fast. Absolutely, very nice coming in from um, Dark Falcon. Ooh, nice punish on that yeah. down here right there. I'm trying to get uh, trying to get the fourth nice two frame. And that now, definitely could have spelled death if um you know. Jonathan G actually got that. Oh yeah, 100%. Very nice oh. catching. Yes, he has a whole water right now. And that is gonna be death. I definitely, uh, funny thing, I definitely like how a lot of people use Richter a lot more because Belmont, or, I think it's... Simon. Simon Belmont is actually probably one of like the ugliest characters that they have. Yeah, exactly. honestly. Yeah, it looks like a block. It looks like um you know what he looks like? He looks like a uh, Crimson Chin. Like it's just very scary how like wild that character looks. And I think they actually have different names for both of their um B specials. I think one is Holy Water and the other is something else. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't I, actually I have no idea. Mm. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking like this could definitely be in um, Jonathan G. Is reach because they definitely like kind of showing that this is this is not how they want to go into losers. They definitely want to make this you know a done deal. I don't really have any issues. And I was liking how Jonathan was playing the platform game, right? Not really playing the grinding game, staying on the platform. Oh. God bless. Tired. And that is, um. What? And that is. You know what? I feel like that is a. That that is that is a poetic way to end a set like that. Absolutely. Okay, I lied. Actually, why did, so um, why didn't mm -hmm. why didn't why did he um throw out the whip? Did something happen? I think they did, but they missed the cutoff for it in order to do it. I think maybe if they would have waited a little bit until they got um closer to it, they could have up aired and they would have went for it. But yeah, definitely looks like they missed um the cutoff in order to actually get that. Um, whip to ledge. Yeah, unfortunate. Um, I believe, I believe that that, that is our last set of the uh, day, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, guys. So, uh, oh, are they starting the match anyway? Oh. 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 Actually, we messed up. Okay, we're smart. Wait, did I? What? Oh, we're drunk? Oh, what happened? Okay. okay. Guess not. So this is actually three out of five. Okay, let's go. Oh. Um. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, so definitely taking this back to um town and city. Definitely liking this counter pick. Um, because definitely this was like I think the first stage that they went on. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna hope that they can actually kind of um 
you know, maybe even perform better than they did the first time. Um, Dark Falcon, sorry. Um, just performing better than they did. Um, trying to, you know, make use of all of the adaptions that they made this far. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I feel like this stage definitely benefits uh, Pyramid way more, and um, I just feel like it, it just makes it very hard, making it very hard for you to land some sequences, and then then you get put on situations on the platform where it, it turns into just like a gamble on whether you're gonna lose your stock or not, especially as as, as a Rick. Absolutely, but yeah, definitely this is looking very even actually, definitely a, a switch up from the first game that we had on the stage. Okay, okay, got the down so pushing forward. Yeah, and yeah, and Jonathan has been doing really well with those holy waters. Actually, he's been catching, uh, you know, I really want to know the, uh, I feel like there should be a catch rate on how many... <laughs> Uh, on, on how many holy waters he's caught so far because honestly he's treating that like Diddy Banana like he just doesn't care <laughs> Absolutely, and you actually saw there that um, the whip actually collided with the um, the I forgot the sword um, Which actually was like wow very nice on that part. Um, not sure if that was intentional, but yeah Okay, okay. No this is a good nice stage. Yeah, and Jonathan holding on to stuff for dear life. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think this is definitely good. I understand why, um, you know, Jonathan might want to be in Pyro, but changing immediately. I was going to say because, um, you know, since they do have rage, they could definitely just like, you know, kind of just kill him a little bit earlier than expected. <laughs> Was definitely a chance there, but I'm uh, um, actually traded with um, Belmont. Yeah. So yeah. Can Holy water, four tokens. They didn't even get, they didn't even get hit by the uh, holy water. Yet. It was just the four tokens. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, Dark Falcon just trying to find a way in, trying to find a way to attack on damage. Mm -hmm. Definitely would have liked it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, definitely would have liked it there if um, you know, Jonathan would have actually went out there a little bit just to kind of force um, Dark Falcon to kind of be a little bit more scared about his recovery there, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, no, no, Dark Falcon actually makes back a lot of this percent percentage right now, if they can, you know, if they can just tack on a little bit more percent, right, even if you do lose this, lose this stock, going to the next stock, right, you have a little bit of leeway. Um, Wow, and, and oh my god. So, okay, so think about that move, right? So, first of all, you can shield that move all the way through, right? And it does do, uh, that does do some shield damage, right? So you could shield that all the way through and then punish on reaction, right? Like, that move is, that move is like very, very, very okay at best. And people, you know, if you want to hit that, it's almost like, it's almost like a Roy double-edged dance at the ledge. It's almost the same thing. We'll definitely be looking at this game looking just as good as the way it did those other games for Jonathan G. But wow, wow as I say that, you're gonna get hit by that back air and just take that stock. Oh, very nice on mix up there going for the platform. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that I mean and that is that is a special character with such recoveries, that platform is definitely can be very, very, very helpful. Right now. You know, honestly, one more straight, you know, maybe like one more straight back there, like near the ledge. Very nice coming in um, from Jonathan G right there. Almost spelling death for Dark Falcon. But wow, just like really nice coming in. I feel like um, if, you know, Dark Falcon actually wants to take this game, they definitely have to be very extremely careful about how they approach these situations just to kind of avoid the kind of space that um, Pyra has with these moves. And not really trying to get into a lot of, um, you know, just random dispositions at the level. <gasps> that really red, red with the four tone. <laughs> you want a clutch axe? Okay, okay. That was, a real, that was actually a really good axe. 
No! And, that, mm. and honestly, that looked like it was a forward tilt in the wrong direction. It looked like it was a Absolutely, yeah. Like, they definitely could have made that back, which was actually starting to, you know, breathe some life at the end there. But, you know, not enough to kind of take that game. Definitely good coming in from Jonathan G. 100%, 100%. Yeah, and, um... Yeah, yeah, and John, Jonathan G uh, gets to Warner's Finals with Pyro Mithra. Love that. Absolutely. Um, so, update on Bracket. We have um, Tejas actually DQ'd, so that was... Um, oh! <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. And we have Sonic Fiend playing Zane right now. We have... Um, Finest Spoon playing Pot, which looks like they've been playing a lot of um, Terry. Mm -hmm. um, it's very interesting. And I see that Zane has been playing every character in the book. Um, they played um, Sephiroth, Luigi, Diddy, Wario, mm -hmm. and Midgey. Oh, and Mega Man as well. Definitely very interesting coming in from Zane there. Sorry, we need. Yeah, we need to have to talk with Zane later. Um, that Luigi mm -hmm. picture is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> under under no no circumstances, unless you get the dono from like Bill Gates or something, you should not be playing Luigi voluntarily like that. Um, yeah, God bless. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was I think that was our actually our last set. Is that actually our last set this time? No false, false alarms. What was it again? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, guys, um, it's going to be our last set. Thank you, everybody, for pulling up. Um, match Reno. That's where we put Match Reno. Absolutely. Do Match Reno. That is Jazzy G. At Hi. Love Galore. Absolutely. Is that is that is that because it's a song? Yep. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, iconic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thanks, to, and follow us, both of us. Yeah, and, um, you know, Absolutely. keep watching the stream. There's going to be more action coming soon.